right in a week, Captain. That's fine, Rodriguez. You won't know the place when you get back. When headquarters got all our accident reports, they sent a building inspector over. I had to talk him out of condemning the building. They're fixing all the stairs, new glass in the doors, and they're putting a brand new tile floor in the washroom. I gotta get some more mud around. Say, I gotta be gone for a minute. There's no floor in the washroom. Make sure nobody walks in there. Somebody will walk in. Well, they better not. They'll end up in the basement. Somebody will end up in the basement. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have ourselves a Jonah. We're doomed. Well, that's your problem. Look, be a good guy and keep everybody out, huh? I'll keep them out. A lot good. That'll help. First Nicholson, then Webster. Hey, don't go in there. There's no floor. Thanks. After Webster, Rodriguez. Who's next? Hey, hold it. There's no floor in there. Gee, thanks, Leo. Boy, somebody could get hurt. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Leo, for an intelligent man. Now, don't you start up with me. There's no such thing as a jinx, huh? I'm just superstitious, huh? Now go tell that to Nicholson, Webster, and Rodriguez. They're lying right now in the Luther's Nitkin wing of the Bronx General Hospital. That's why I'm fed up with this place. Everybody blames things on you. Now I can't even take a shower. I've had it. from me. Captain, you better sit down. I'll be all right. Come on, I've got to get you set. Leo! Leo. I know, Captain. No, what? I didn't say anything. Snitkin is my partner. That's right. Take him out and get him acquainted with your sector. Get ready, Luther. Well, what am I sitting here? I've got a lot to do. My estate to settle, my will to make out. <laughs> Now, don't take it that way, Leo. Please, Francis, why are we arguing? I have so little time left. <laughs> now, will you listen to me, Leo? You'll drop in and visit Sylvia when I'm... Leo, come out of this superstitious trance. Tootie, I've always liked you. I want you to remember that. I liked you, too. You were a nice guy. Gunther! <laughs> Leo, you're falling prey to ignorance. What is the greatest menace in the world today? Luther Snitkin. No, Leo. It's blind prejudice. You believed rumors about Snitkin before you even knew him. Some rumors. Half the precinct is in the hospital. Of course. But it's no mystery. We know now. This precinct was in such terrible condition, accidents had to start happening. Yeah. You heard the building inspector. If the place wasn't owned by the city, they'd have given the landlord ten years. Sure. Look at it logically. The glass was ready to fall out of the doors. The stairways were a menace. You remember the condition of the tile in there? That's right. And look at Luther. Poor Luther. A victim of blind prejudice. You're right. You see what a trap a man could fall in of ignorance and superstition? Good boy, Leo. You ready to go, Snitkin? Any time, Schnauzer. Be with you as soon as I wash up. <laughs> Yeah. The doctor said he doesn't know how you're still alive. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Wait for us outside, Luther. <laughs> you're gonna be all right, Leo. Think of the bright side. You gotta get 75 cents a day from the Brotherhood Get Well Fund. <laughs> See you later, Leo. Come on. <laughs> Luther, where are you going? Aren't you going to say hello to the rest of the boys? Did you see the look he gave me? Forget it. You know Schnauzer, he's a little peeved. <laughs> you guys have been wonderful to me. You might as well know it. I'm a Jonah. A Jonah? Bad luck, a jinx. I'm a loser. In my entire life, I've never had one bit of luck. Luther! Gunther. I'm afraid it's hopeless. If he himself believes he's unlucky, he carries it like a cloud. If only he could win something for just once in his life, it would change his whole attitude. It would give him a whole new outlook on life. What could he win? Ooh, ooh. We got a 
turkey raffle coming up, and Luther Snitkin bought a ticket. I remember his number. It's 62. You heard him. He's never won anything in his life. Yeah, but I'm going to be drawing the lucky number. And no matter what number I draw, it's going to be 62. Who has it? Well, I don't know. Maybe Who's got the lucky number 62? <laughs> <laughs> they just drew the lucky number, Snetkin. Oh, thanks. Wait a minute. Maybe you got the lucky number, 62. I would have the lucky number, 62. It's 62. It's 62! <laughs> Snetkin wins the turkey! <laughs> For the first time in my life, I won! Here's the turkey. You lucky dog. Sergeant Feldman, You've got eight kids to feed. You keep the turkey. But you won. I won more than a turkey. I won a new life. Have a turkey dinner on Lucky Snitkin. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy. Worst case of domain poisoning I've ever seen. From a turkey. Oh! <laughs> Luther, you just can't resign from the police department. You just can't give up without a fight. It wasn't your fault the turkey was bad. It wasn't, huh? Look, fellas, the quicker I get out of here, the... <laughs> Boys, I think we broke the back of this bad luck we've been having. I've got good news. Good news? Yes. The governor's going to dedicate the new birdhouse in Bronx Park. And our precinct has been selected to choose a man who'll drive him in the procession. You've selected someone? There's only one man in this whole precinct I would trust with such a mission. You're going to drive the governor, Snitkin. <laughs> now, don't be modest. Besides, according to your service record, you're the only one with experience driving a VIP. But, Captain... Oh, what? nonsense! Come down to my office. We'll work out the details. I'm going to drive the governor. <laughs> I'm getting out of it. Now, wait. <laughs> Why not? You once drove a VIP, didn't you? Yeah, it was during a presidential election. Who did you drive? Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait. <laughs> Fellas, give up. It's beyond all of us. It's voodoo. Wait. OK. If you think it's voodoo, if you think there are evil spirits in you, let's just try one more thing. Oh, great son of Kaaba, drive the evil spirits out of this afflicted man's body. Well, this is ridiculous. What if one of the men comes in and sees us? Who's going to see it? They're all in a hospital. Now, according to the ceremony, you should be holding the tails of two cows. Yeah, we couldn't bring two cows up here. The death sergeant would have noticed it. You're supposed to drive the evil spirits out of me and into the animals? Oh, come on. Hold hands. Evil spirits, leave the man's body. I command you in the name of Kava, Uga, Manga, Muga. <laughs> Open your eyes. The evil spirits have left you. Hey, fellas, I feel, I feel kind of strange. Like, like, like a cloud has disappeared. Boys, I think it worked. That's great, Luther. See you later. Boys, he got through that ceremony perfectly. Not a whisper of an accident. How about that? We broke his jinx. And it was that phony voodoo ceremony that did it. Yeah. He fell for it like a ton of bricks. He thinks the evil spirits transferred out of him into a couple of cows he was holding. <laughs> but you didn't have any cows. So it was us. What's the difference? He fell for it. Come on, Guthrie. Here's your call, Lieutenant. Hey. Congratulations, fellas. You broke the Snitkin jinx. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> hello, hello. Where is this? Did you see what happened to that switchboard? Gunther, don't be ridiculous. Come on. Hey, fellas, you certainly got rid of that jinx. Put it down! <laughs> Francis! Francis! We transfer Snitkin's jigs into us. We gotta do another ceremony. Gunther, I refuse to cater to any more superstitious voodoo. Hey, Tootie, Muldoon, will you drop me off at my sector? 
Sure, come on along. Stay there. Come on, stay there. Come on down. Stay there. Come on. Francis. You were right. We'd better perform that ceremony again quick before anything else happens. Come on. Why is it? Why is it always me? There's a holdup in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child, cruise ships to an idle wild. Car 54, where are you? 